Because if you don't care and you don't wonder, you're not engaged. You're not reading and comprehending. Or maybe you like number six better. Totally different approach. I'll bring in a wrapped present. I mean wrapped to the hilt. Awesome. Bow, ribbon, awesome. I'll leave it on the front of the, the podium or the, the front of the room or wherever you normally conduct your lessons for reading. And when it's time to have the reading lesson, it'll just be out. And I just go stand by the board because here it comes. What is that? What is that? Seriously, what's inside? What's inside? Are you going to open it? Are you going to open it? Who's it for? Who's it for? I don't say a word. And then some kids will say things like, I bet it's clothes, because it's always like in a Coles box, you know, a shirt box. I bet it's clothes. I turn it into a question. Is it clothes? I, don't, I haven't said a word. I'm just jotting down their questions. I'm trying to prove they care. They wonder. They're, they're engaged. The text today happens to be a present. I want to capture their questions. Once they start to slow down, I haven't said a word. I go over and I start to unwrap it. I start to unwrap it. And as soon as I start to do, someone will say, who's it from? I stop. I walk over. Who's it from? You know, and they quickly figure it out. Stop asking her questions. You know. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And so I unwrap it. And, and then I, you know, it, it says coals on it or something like that. Or like, I, I know it's a shirt or clothes. Or, and, and so then I, and they're like, well, that's not clothes. And then they have more predictions or questions. Boom, 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 boom. And then I slowly lift it. Slowly, because I love what happens. They all do this. <laughs> and then I show it to them, and inside are cookies. Not cookies they've ever seen before. Not your chocolate chip, not your peanut butter. As one kid told me, old lady cookies, old-fashioned cookies, cookies he's never seen before, because more questions. What kind is it? Do they taste good? Are there enough for all of us? What about boom, 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 boom? See, it's still going. And then... I, wa I haven't said a word in seven minutes. I haven't spoken. I walk around and they each take one. And, and they're like, can we eat it? Can we eat it? And I just give them the sign. We're good. And, and so they eat it. And so now, and then it's over. I say, okay, you guys, today's text was the present. And you asked a ton of questions. And many of them, we answer. Let, let's see which ones. What's inside? Answered it. Enough for all of us? Answered it. Is it good? You answered it. What's it called? I never told you that. See, I like to point out which questions we didn't get answered because everything we read doesn't answer all of our reader questions. But my point is, in 11 minutes, you had 49 questions about today's text. You have to ask a lot of questions when you're reading. You have to be that engaged. You have to care about it that much. And that's what we're going to work on all year long. That's my intro to questioning early in the year. This idea of getting them to realize, to feel what it's like to be that engaged.